The update that you have all been waiting for is here, or nearly here, depending on when it rolls out for you. That of course is update 41, and I believe this is Meta's first step to their version of the Oasis. So update 41 brings a feature that's been promised for a while now, and that's shared spaces, so finally you can show off your funky home environments to your friends. Not only that, but you can launch apps and games with your friends from your home. Zuckerbuck's shown off this feature through his Facebook. He demonstrated that you could both seamlessly enter a 360 video together, sharing that moment. While the shared home feature has been a long time coming, it signals a shift in the direction that Meta wants to take their VR platform. There has been a few other leaks that also point to Meta creating their own Oasis, but I'll get to that later in the video. The World Beyond has now been released, and this is Meta's new AR feature. It was demonstrated briefly at the sneak peek at Cambria, but we finally got to try it out for yourself. It utilises their new room mapping functionality, which allows you to draw out the walls and objects in your room to allow the AR elements to seamlessly interact with non-virtual environments. Now, this experience is clearly designed more for Cambria than it is for Quest, but it's good that the Quest lineup is still getting the features that the Cambria will be mainly designed for. Now the last thing I want to talk about before I explain how this all ties into Meta's master plan to dominate the digital world with their oasis is Avalanche. For those who don't know, Avalanche is supposedly Meta's new streaming platform. Leaked by a Reddit user to sadly it's Bradley, Cloud Platform has been in the works for one and a half years and we could be close to a release. Personally, I know some people have bad vibes about cloud platform streaming, and I definitely understand the concerns, but this is the future. VR headsets and glasses will never be as powerful as a PC unless that power is utilised elsewhere. Streaming platforms are getting better by the day, and this is an issue that's slowly solving itself with advancements in cellular and Wi-Fi networks. I'd actually put big money on Meta releasing some sort of game streaming service for the Quest in the short term, asking for a monthly or yearly fee to play games. Some might cringe at this, but VR games are very much try and buy, but unfortunately it's more like buy and try. I'd be interested to know what you think of a monthly subscription service to access VR titles, so drop a comment down below. On to the big plan. When Zuckerberg first bought Oculus way back in 2014, nearly 10 years ago, all new Oculus employees would receive a book. This book was Ready Player One. This was obviously an early inspiration to the acquisition. Now, if you look at the new updates and the New Horizon format Meta is using, in combination with the leaks about Avalanche, you can start to see a real push towards something like a metaverse, something like the Oasis. Every trailer Horizon looks like an Oasis world, and now social home environments are here, it won't be long before they're customizable. Me personally, I cannot wait for that. I really want them to integrate other things into this world. Like it'd be amazing having sort of like a, a the basement from Ready Player One, H's basement, where you could have arcade machines, even like a PS1 emulator. I don't think that will happen anytime soon or not at all, but that would be insane. I'd imagine soon after we get the custom environments, it wouldn't surprise me if Meta integrate the whole quest system into a game like Horizon Worlds or something similar, just like the Oasis, so you could access different games from within your room, or the functionality could be completely different, sort of a new interface to represent virtual reality properly, because at the moment we still interact as if we would a phone, you point, you click, but VR could be more than that. Secondly, the AR functionality would allow you to blend Meta's metaverse with the real world. Your friends could pop in and out of reality within their digital reality. So you could be sat at home, invite someone to sit next to you on the sofa. This would obviously only work with say, like a Cambria or AR glasses. We can start to see the puzzle pieces falling into place. With Meta's new ultra-realistic codex avatars, we can see a Ready Player One direction. But there's no chance in the near future the Quest or the Cambria will be able to handle something like this something like the Oasis, unless the Oasis is streamed to you. That, in combination with eye tracking, could actually give you a viable service within the release window of Cambria. Because if you use eye tracking, you'd only have to stream a portion in high quality and the rest could be blurred out. Meta's Oasis is coming, and with the features and experiences like Horizon, Meta is finally justifying the change in name. Ultimately, we decide the fate of our future digital reality, 
we hold the cards, and if we don't like features and functionalities, we can collectively use our voice. And in this case, we need to decide what metaverse we would like, and point companies like Meta in this direction. If you like the content, triple click that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next video.